Alrighty, hey nerds, Dan here. Um, just going over another siege battle that I saw, that I uh, uh, had the other day. Uh, Slanesh versus Korn. Uh, Korn was attacking specifically the... Well, let's get back in the map here. Specifically the campaign boss, Scarbrand. So um, I was a little low on forces on this one. I had maybe like se a, a seven unit army that I was trying to muster at this place uh, when he attacked and the garrison was not um fantastic so uh, he's attacking on two fronts here first off on the left hand side uh he has uh one one blood shrine here and then a couple groups of the you know standard blood letters nothing nothing to write home about all things considered and i'm countering specifically with um quite a lot of daemonets of slanesh um i think there's a there's a marauders here and then uh, my secret chariots where we're actually going to see uh, these secret chariots do a lot of work against these blood letters. It's a lot of fun to <laughs> throw them around like that. And then over on the far side, um, I blocked off one path here. Um, and eventually I'm like, ah, I, this, this wall's not going to hold. I'm going to actually move uh, these dudes into position to help hold the line. Um and that 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 generally works out thanks mostly to this this group here that I kind of snuck back here my one group of hell striders available i think they were garrison they weren't even you know someone uh, a group that i had made uh, i was just lucky enough to have them here um i did i spending my early resources I have a tower here barricade um nothing nothing big um this barricade was just enough to make some of these guys think twice about coming this way and I ended up uh, using my main force over here with uh, Daemonets, uh, a lot of Marauders. A lot of my Marauders and higher health troops are up in here. Uh, and then my two leaders. Uh, I, I had a little bit of a mess up. I have a little, I have a little bit of a mess up with them um, later on that you're going to see, but overall they do a lot of good work. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm just going to start with slow here just to give you a really good idea um i try to flick the secret chariots around the uh far side um the the blood shrine doesn't really take too kindly to this and it gets a little wrapped up but i think that kind of helped me early on here where the daemonets and everyone else is trying to get lined up this formation does not happen <laughs> they do not they do not hit that formation at all so we're gonna we'll go back to that to start uh with here um you're gonna see the early split here with uh warhounds and a majority of this force coming into this choke point where i can hold them pretty damn easily and they all get kind of knotted up there these dudes though these dudes think they got the brass to to march over this uh barricade they do <laughs> they will <laughs> so that that happens i do not move these hell striders soon enough though these hell striders i i don't think it moved until one minute or uh maybe like minute 10 seconds in so here you see this is this is where the problem here started um the the blood shrine doesn't get caught by the daemonets and i i get a good melee engage but this dude this dude just it, it's like what why are you chasing me like this because what i all all i want to do is wrap the uh secret chariots out into the back lines here and ha have a good time with those. Uh, those will, that'll happen here in a moment. Uh, flyers are coming in as far side. Um, Scarbrand is taking his sweet time. These guys are moving in, but the tower is starting to pick away at him. And I'm actually really grateful I made this tower here because it did it did help out a ton. Um, Oh, there, the Hell Striders just started moving. It's actually about 23 seconds in, so I actually was a little earlier on that than I suspected. Um, there, here's the wraparound. Here's the wraparound I wanted to show. The Blood Shrine and these, uh, these Blood Letters don't actually catch the Chariots, but only barely. 
Like, that was mere moments away from them getting caught up. Which was hilarious. And then... I put them straight into this back line of blood letters, and I believe I moved these daemonets in against these blood letters here. Um, these blood letters are tied up with the marauders, although for some reason they don't actually like to engage each other right off the bat. But this, this is, this is the beauty. I just wanna, we'll just get, we're just gonna get on down in here, and they go. Flying. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. It it chunked them so hard. Like they were already not doing great for being engaged in melee already. Um, the blood shrine hasn't done any damage yet at this point, and these blood letters are just starting to get engaged by the demonets. So, already this group of blood letters is not. It's not feeling it. Uh, and I think I wrapped these secret chariots around, but we're gonna go back over to the front line because the front line is engaging right now. Um, the flyers, the chaos furies have come down. Um, I believe I just called my furies over to say hello. One of these groups of blood letters either gets their, or, or is, one is summoned down on my leadership. Um, and I'm just kind of waiting for the appropriate time to be like, bam, I'm going to start flicking spells at you because the point of getting them all in this choke here was I want to be able to fling as many lashes out on these blood letters and blood crushers. Is it? Uh, it's one group of blood crushers uh, as physically possible. Um, my marauders are all doing their best to kind of absorb this and I want to keep my uh, casters out of this fight for as long as possible. I don't do a good job with that. I don't actually do a good job with that, unfortunately. Um, these guys are just starting to engage this wall. Um, they're going to do a damn good job of ripping it down. I already have these guys moving into place. Um, I can only do so much. Honestly, I should have built a tower here as well to, to help deal with things, but I, I don't. Um, the Hellstriders are going to wait here for a little bit. Alright, there's the summon. There's the summon on my leaders. Um, I'm going to pull my Furies over to actually help deal with this. To make sure that my, my gals can still cast here. Because I do want to start getting those lashes out. Which I should. Soon. Hashtag soon, hopefully. Um, really quick. Uh, over here on this side of things, as to be expected, that initial group of blood letters that got uh, decimated by my... Decimated by my uh, chariots. They they didn't last long. Um, and yeah, I did lose at least one group of daemonets here. But they just... They're never able to really maintain their numbers. These, these blood letters are about to get spanked. As, as as Slanesh would, uh, the their their altar of corn, their um a blood shrine of corn rather, is finally starting to do some damage on my dudes, but it's it's gonna it's gonna be a, too little, too late. There we go. That's that's the first blood letter gone. Um, that that fight kind of goes pr pretty predictably. Um, I did, so you can see kind of the rut in the ground here. I'm, this is when I start casting those whips over here to try and manage what's going on. Um, I let my Herald of Slanesh sit and take damage too long. And this is, this is kind of where my first big fuck up was with this. I just let my caster sit and take it. Um, Chaos Furies are coming in. Um, and hopefully... Let's see them engage here. Um, their Chaos Furies go down pretty darn fast. Which, thank goodness. And also, thank goodness, my Marauders hold the line, like, very effectively. That building uh, that just got destroyed was this barricade here. So I move my Marauders into engage with these blood letters again all normal blood letters no exalted blood letters so it's not like i'm panicking right now i'm just waiting for the appropriate time to bring the hell striders in 
uh, in behind and hold them there. Because I, as soon as the Hell Striders come in, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident that they break. Um, but over here, uh, so these Furies are down. Um, the Blood Letters are chunking my leader right now. Again, this was this was my first kind of uh, mess up here, where I let I let um, these summon blood letters just eat my leader. But I'm bringing I'm bringing uh, Marauders over. Uh, I'm bringing uh, Chaos Furies. I'm trying to manage that situation. Um, and, and right now, like, in as as I was playing this, this is the replay, so as I was playing this, um, I was furiously trying to figure out, okay, what spell can I cast on these dudes? Because the goal here was hold them in this gap, take them out with spells. This is the only way I was able to make the numbers make sense. Uh, what I spent the resources on, by the way, where is it? Uh, where is it? There was a tower. Right here, right here. I, I built a tower right here uh i didn't really see any use for it unfortunately that was kind of a waste of resources they didn't really get in range of it um spoilers so these blood letters are finally getting engaged their morale is about to snap and nas is going to be able to cast again here soon um really quick just to show you before she does do that um the corn forces over here are breaking the blood letters, they're about to disappear. This group's about to disappear. It's just going to be the blood shrine and the groups that I have over here. One, my, like, all trying to bang up on the uh, blood shrine. And this is not a problem. I handled this uh, this side pretty, pretty darn clean. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, really quick over here as well. Uh, I just brought the Hell Striders in. You can see a lot of the blood letters being flung all over the place with these dudes. Oh, we're only a minute, like, 30 seconds into the fight. This fight, I, I did most of this fight in slow-mo because there was so much going on at the same time. Um, but all these blood letters are going to start cracking because they're flanked in the back and there's not much for them to do. Um... Uh... I should be casting that second whip here shortly. I'm bringing more daemonettes in to help with this fight. Um, I'm trying to move Nass away because she's not she's not feeling it right now. And I think I'm I'm furiously kick it, clicking away uh, from from them so she can survive. Uh, but the Daemonites are coming in. They're going to be like, hey, we're here to help. Uh, her morale's not going to break, but barely. Blood letters done. Um, the only real problem here is the sheer amount of units over here and Scarbrand himself. All right, they are saying good night we should see that second whip here shortly they are gone beautiful uh scarbrand obviously is is the biggest problem here um but lucky enough a lot of slanesh's units they may not have like the most armor and health but they hit hard and one thing that Scarbrand um, can be susceptible to, especially early on, he's only level 9, um, is high damage. Um, high melee damage when he is being surrounded and flanked. Like, as long as he's not pumped up to level 20 or something, I found that, you know, he does, he does go down pretty quickly. Uh, Furies are going to be... I think I direct them onto Scarbrand directly... Um, I don't, I don't move my Daemonettes fast enough. I think I was busy directing these guys all to be like, Hey, kill the Blood Shrine. You guys kill the Blood Shrine? Yeah, they're, th they're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. That Blood Shrine's not going to last long. Um, 
I eventually do get these spearmen involved. There's the whip. Really beautiful. Really beautiful arc on that. Chunks a lot of those blood letters. Um, the blood crushers are still involved, but the morale actually breaks like a lot faster than I expected. I did I didn't expect their morale to, to bust as fast as it did. Um, I'm now telling all of my units here, hey, get on Scarbrand. There we go. There the there the Furies go. Um, all my Daemonettes are kind of, you know, focusing on him. Uh, I think I eventually get these Marauders on him as well. Um, one problem, though. He decides to say, fuck it. <laughs> he essentially ignores the fact I sick all of these units on him. And he charges out of the group. And I don't realize most of these units still have guard mode on. Most of these units still have guard mode on, so as soon as he starts walking away, they're like, oh, I'm gonna lose interest now. And I have my Herald of Slash sitting back here waiting for something to happen. I want to get another whip off. I want to get another whip off because I'm still worried about the number of troops here. Unfortunately, Scarbrand has a different, different idea. He has a very different idea. He's able to effectively scatter all of these groups of units because they have no weight to them. Unlike Nurgle and Corn units, they really have zero zero weight um they can be flung pretty easily <sighs> and he's turning and looking at my low health leader <laughs> like oh you're fucking tasty <laughs> like you can kind of see it in, in game <laughs> he's not actually doing it in game it's just the model doing its thing but he does kind of just he just kind of turned and looked at her like Oh, I see what's up. So he's gonna smack... I think he's gonna smack this gal once or twice to kind of break the engagement up again. Or at least he's gonna do like a uh, another cleave or something. And then he's gonna, he's gonna look at my gal and be like, nah. What are you what are you doing, buddy? And we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and take it to standard speed because uh, really quick showing over here. Um, these blood letters are all breaking. Um, my hell striders and mar marauders are. I mean, they're hurt. They've taken some hits, but they're not breaking like these groups. So this flank, fine. Far flank is about to be cleaned up. It's just this one that's the problem. So we're gonna go ahead and do normal speed. Yeah, there he goes. He's doing that. Chucks an axe straight at her. And I try to get her out of there and get him re-engaged. But it's just... It's not... A, I left her sitting out in the middle of nowhere there. That was... That was a big mistake on my part. However, there's a lot of units on him and he's kind of getting overloaded. Um, he's not... He wasn't able to do any of his attacks... So, he is also going to fall over very quickly. Uh, currently at minute three of this battle, by the way. This one, again, happened very fast. This, this one took me about a half hour to do because I did it in slow-mo and paused a ton. Um, this group, it's starting to push forward, but with the blood crushers breaking, it starts kind of that chain reaction of, oh, one unit morale is, is gone. All of us are going to break. So, over the next, like, 30 seconds or so, with that tower tossing shit in, um, they all, they all whittle down. See some morale breaks there. There they are. I, I believe... I believe that wasn't army losses. That was actually, uh, chain attrition, but I could be wrong. I could very... That could have... That could have just been... 
um, army losses that knocked them out hard. Um, this was... This was a challenging one because uh, this was the first time that I was playing Slanesh in a like a really clutch situation. But I was I was in incredibly happy with the results because the auto calc said uh, decisive defeat, <laughs> and instead I was able to you know piecemeal out my forces and use a few towers to redefine exactly what was going on here. Uh, so that was this battle. It's a ton of fun. Um, it was really nice also getting to punch corn in the face like that. Getting to punch a corn force in the face rather uh, like that. So thank you all. Uh, look forward to more battles.